welcome back friends in this short video i'm going to tell you what are homeotic genes now uh, there are many confusions regarding this concept so homeotic genes is nothing but homeobox genes so we have already talked about homeobox genes if you don't know what are homeobox genes you can go to my youtube channel and you can find video on homeobox genes but uh, homeotic genes are the same like homeobox now the effect of this homeotic genes is that to specify the function of a segment of a body right so these are the genes these are controller genes again these are controller genes controller genes which specifies the function of a segment in embryo so during embryogenesis there are many segments especially during gastrulation there are different segment in, in our body so <coughs> so let's say in, in during during the embryogenesis let's say for example let's say these are the different segments and from these segments in the segmentation <coughs> so there are genes present that gene specifies that this part is going to be uh, the head this part is going to be the thoracic region this part is going to be the abdomen and so on so this this specificity that this is the part responsible to be the head this is the part to form the thoracic region this part will not not form a, abdominal region so that specificity is provided by this homeotic genes or homeobox genes okay so if we have any mutation in this homeobox genes or homeotic genes it will lead to dangerous effects for example one such example for this kind of homeotic gene is antennapedia antennapedia gene in drosophila so what happens in antennapedia gene in drosophila if we mutate this antennapedia gene the mutation of antennapedia gene usually this antennapedia gene is responsible for the growth of antenna onto the head of drosophila so if i draw is the head growth of antenna from the head of a drosophila right so this is antenna and this is head so this is the normal case and the rest of the body will be like that anyways <clears throat> okay but if we are having mutation in this antenna pda gene instead of developing antenna onto the head it can develop it somewhere else in the body right instead of developing leg from the thoracic region it, it can develop the leg from from the head region so these are the change because during the gastrulation of embryogenesis remember all the different regions of the body all the different regions of the embryo are destined to to perform their own job because before the gastrulation all the cells are destined to do all different jobs because they are totipotent in nature they are stem cells so they can do so one cell that can produces brain cells that can produces liver cells and everything during the development but after the gastrulation the destination is performed correctly that these are the set of cells they are going to develop into neurons these are the set of cells they are going to develop into the liver cells these are the set of cells they are going to develop the digestive system and so on so for that reason this antennapedia genes are those or especially the homeotic genes are those which are specific to control a particular activity or which are telling that yes this is the part you are going to do this you are going to do that so this is a work supervisor in that case okay and this homeotic genes are having so if we if we compare the homeotic genes you can find homeotic genes in almost all different individuals arthropods uh, then mammals in, in fact in human beings you can find them you can find them reptiles amphibians and all of them they are carrying the homeotic genes because that is required that is exactly required during the development of the embryo and this homeotic genes another property of this homeotic gene uh, genes are that they are uh, very much conserved in evolution conserved throughout the time in evolution okay in evolutionary history and another important thing is that we, if we if we compare the homeotic genes found in human being found in uh, arthropods and other things you are going to find homology homologous this gene is a kind of homologous between all these different because they are finding a some kind of 
same structures and the sequence and the sequence is conserved that's why they are acting like homologous right the sequence is a kind of conserved throughout the time so that is the effect of this homeotic genes and we require homeotic genes for the proper designation of function for a particular segment of our embryo during the embryogenesis okay so that's kind of it but these homeotic genes are not the uh, master regulator because we know there are other genes like gap genes pair rule genes maternity effect genes during the development of arthropods but in other case these are playing very vital role in the development okay so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful thank you